First up, we are getting uh, some news uh, where the Mumbai Bhuvaneshwar LTT Express has derailed uh, near Nerundi railway station in Katak, where it is reported uh, to be around 30 to 40 passengers injured in this mishap. Uh, and this accident that occurred between uh, Salgao and Nergundi, where after LTT Express hits a good strain due to very low vis visibility because of uh, the dense fog that has been uh, witnessed in that area. And uh, at this point, it has been said around 30 to 40 passengers uh, have been injured in this accident. They have been shifted uh, to a local hospital. And uh, it is said that it is uh, around seven coaches that derailed and few being injured uh, have been uh, transferred to a local hospital. The administration and the authorities uh, are taking into account and are taking stock of the situation. But because of the dense fog in that area, it is being said that this accident occurred. Let me straight away go across to Prakash who has more information with him. What time uh, are we looking at Prakash when this accident occurred and what's happening there as of now? Well, as we get to know that seven coaches of the Mumbai Bhubaneshwar LTT Express has derailed near Nergundi railway station because of a dense foggy situation um, in Orisha. And... Uh, Accident occurred between Salgao and Nergundi after LTT Express hit a good train due to very low visibility and because of the dense fog. And we get to know, also get to know that the rescue operations are on. Several uh, trains uh, have been, services have been disrupted. Rail routes have been affected due to this. Um, uh, medical facilities are, have been rushed in to send the critically injured patient to the hospital. Senior officials are also camping on this spot as to know the reasons why this uh, 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 accident took place and why this collision took place because of the traffic signals. And also, <coughs> uh, senior officials are camping there and uh, seven coaches which have been derailed are being tried to uh, uh, re trying to be removed from the uh, location so that the traffic services can be resumed again. And senior officials say that we'll soon resume the operations as and when uh, we get to stabilize the rail route. Back to you. And uh, what's happening there as far as the rescue operations are concerned, Prakash, because it is being said around 30 to 40 uh, people have sustained injuries. Any casualties also being reported? No casualty been reported uh, as such as of now. Five uh, patients, critical patients, have been shifted to the Katak Hospital, and 30 to 40 passengers are said to be injured in the collision, who have also been uh, shifted to the hospital. The special trains have already been deployed and uh, been rushed in to ferry the rest of the passengers to their destination so that they could leave the destination because uh, this particular train uh, 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 has met with an accident, so rescue operations are okay. on. And, um, and, and, and senior officials are trying to ascertain the situation and also investigate into why this collision between the two trains took, uh, took place in the first place. One, was, one it was because of the foggy situation, second, okay. if there was signals at all or not. All right, Prakash, thanks very much for the moment for joining in. This is a uh, very initial information that is coming in of uh, the derailment that has taken place in Kataka. We'll get back as in now uh, we get more information. Let's move on now.